On the second day of a special four-day hearing this Tuesday, Korea's National Assembly grilled the cabinet about the government's foreign policy. With Seoul's upcoming governmental level talks with Pyongyang taking the spotlight, our National Assembly correspondent Kim Hyun-ji reports. Both ruling and opposition party lawmakers welcomed the agreement reached between the two Koreas to hold government-level talks this week, which they say should help thaw IC inter-Korean relations. The talks, the first of their kind in six years, will take place this Wednesday and Thursday in Seoul. Lawmakers questioned cabinet members about the expectations and goals for the upcoming talks. The cabinet members, for their part, were rather cautious with their responses, saying it's not appropriate to reveal too much about the agenda and goals of the meeting in advance. But they did say the resumption of the Kaesong Industrial Complex and the reunions of families separated by the Korean War will top the government's list of priorities for the talks. Meanwhile, the main opposition Democratic Party said the talks should help the two Koreas speed up the process of normalizing their relations. DP lawmakers urged the Park administration to honor the spirit of the June 15th and July 4th inter-Korean declarations and consider co-organizing an inter-Korean celebration of the anniversaries of the two agreements, a matter originally proposed by Pyongyang. In response, Prime Minister Jung Won said that an inter-Korean celebration of the two declarations seems unrealistic at this time, given the recent bout of bellicose rhetoric and threats from Pyongyang. However, the prime minister did promise to take this week's inter-Korean talks as an opportunity to build trust, in line with President Park's trust politics strategy with North Korea. The cabinet's stance was more in line with that of the ruling Senuri party. The ruling party stressed that the denuclearization of North Korea must top Seoul's agenda in inter-Korean dialogue as well as in talks with neighboring countries. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.